Mr. Chris, the, the alcohol is already getting to me. What you gonna do with all that junk? All that junk inside your trunk. I'ma get, 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 get you drunk. Get you love drunk on my heart. What's up YouTube, most especially, what's up ladies? Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl, baby girl, Toast, AKA Toastin, back with us another video. If this is your first time seeing my lovely face on your screen, what's up, my name is Toastin. Over here we do entertaining stuff, I do beauty videos, and I do chit chat sometimes. And here is my first chit chat video. And what better than a girl talk? So I put up on my Instagram like a very long time ago, questions you guys wanna ask me on my girl talk. And also, I decided to twist it and make it to things that you are afraid to ask your female friends. Because you don't wanna be judged, you don't want anyone talking about your business. Well, I'm about to answer all your lovely questions. Yeah, wait, before the video even starts, make sure to give it a like because I've been doing my thing. I've been dropping. Yeah, give it a like, make sure to subscribe so I know that I'm doing something right. We got some alcohol. Make sure you're 18 and up. I got my glass poured, you know. And make sure you're pouring yourself a glass right now. And let's get into some juicy things. So the first question is someone said, hey, I'm recently talking to this guy and he's giving me mixed signals. What do I do? He's giving you mixed signals, which is your signal like? He's not, he's not feeling you like how you feeling. He playing with your mind as long as you let him play with your mind. So if you don't want to be allowing him to play with your mind, then you need to nip that in the bud quickly. Have you ever gotten an STI? No, I haven't gotten an STI. But I would say that I know people that have gotten STIs and I could say that you shouldn't panic. Just go to the doctor, get your prescriptions and make sure that you are taking them so you get better. I know there's a huge stigma around like getting STIs, but the truth of the matter is you could probably get it from one person. So once you notice something off in your, we're gonna name her Yoni. So once you notice something off in your Yoni, make sure to go check that out ASAP and don't be ashamed about it. If you don't want to talk to a friend about it, then go straight to the doctor. How do you deal with heartbreak or breakups in general. Oh, let me just take a sip of that. <clears throat> well, um, with heartbreaks, I I just tend to focus on something that will better myself. So if it be like maybe I was already exercising before, then I start exercising again, or I just put my energy into things that I need to do. But the one thing that I'm learning right now is just allowing myself to feel. So if I feel like crying, I cry. I don't judge myself for feeling any emotion because at the end of the day, if you suppress those emotions, eventually they're going to come out in toxic areas. And trust me, trust me, for someone who has done that before, we don't want any of that. So a, if I want to cry like a baby, I'm going to cry like a baby. If I want to punch the wall, I'm going to punch the wall. If I want to scream, I scream. And I've noticed that um, those feelings come out less and you also progress better. So yeah. Yeah, that's about it. What are your thoughts on casual sex? Honestly, I don't think I'm made up for casual sex. I feel like I'll just be like this, like, I don't know. Like, I feel like, I feel like there needs to be a level of intimacy or like connection or whatever in general. But like casual sex in general, I don't feel comfortable engaging in that because it's just like, what's the point? I don't know, for me, it's like, I'm looking for money. It's not supposed to be having sex okay it doesn't have to be that much do you have any sex toys no i don't i don't have any sex toys. I, I just had this conversation with someone person said i was weird what do you feel about bonnet on the first night i'm gonna say if you are able to see somebody naked i don't see why having a bonnet on is a problem if, if i can see your butthole i can see everything naked why can't i wear my bonnet like i'm so confused when people say oh i can do that but I, i'm not still comfortable to show him that side that kind of it was like why are, if you're comfortable enough to go what is left is it bonnet as for hair tie that is doing you what do you wear on the first day like make i describe your perfect first day outfit first day outfit yeah so for me i like to go casual i still want to leave him wanting more you get me like he can't figure out everything in the one go right then my makeup i like it to be soft but like not too much because i really want you to see my features not that tomorrow when i'm bare faced you'll be looking at me like hmm. like i don't want any confusion maybe on the third or fourth day when you ask me for like a dinner day and hey you know we can step it up you know i'm a 
pull out the heels and like you know dress up you know look all nice and all the types of stuff how long do you think you need to wait before a guy should ask you out on a date honestly one to two weeks like what's he waiting for your bad if i'm in the same area you saw me you think i'm nice and you're talking to me what are you still waiting for like let's go on a date because i feel like that's how we get to know each other unless you want to stick to phone calls and i feel like that's just long like if you're feeling me you're feeling me and let me know if you're really feeling me then let me know apply that pressure how do you deal with your insecurities honestly you just reach a certain level where you just accept yourself man you just accept the way you look accept the way you talk accept I said the way your your roles are coming, like I just be human being, like we're all human beings. We all have things that don't make us perfect, and I think that's what makes us unique. So I just try to channel that energy. Although, if I'm going to be honest, initially it wasn't like that. I just had to reach a certain level where I just was like, you know, fuck it. I still look cute. I still look cute though. Would you ever have a threesome? No, girl. I don't like sharing, so no. What my non-sexual turn-ons? Ooh, an attentive listener. Ooh, talk to me, you know, check up on me, like give me all the attention that you can. I love a thoughtful giver, so I love someone that if I'm like stressed or like I'm doing something, you do little like nice acts of kindness to make me feel, make my day a little bit better. Those are like something that just like a clean man. Oh, Oh my god like your fingernails is on deck like your fingernails are good like you cut your fingernails you know giving me less teacher vibes with the long long pinky fingernail someone asked me would you date a fraud boy and collect his money no i'm snitching i'm snitching crazily fraud jail no i'm snitching on you let's be guided let's let's all be guided what do you feel about texting your friend's man without her knowing? Why are you texting your friend's man without her knowing? You messy. Mm? What are you talking about? See, what are you guys chatting about? You know, you, you and I know it's not good. How do you stop people pleasing? Say no. Learning to say no. Checking yourself before you make any promises or obligations. Sometimes, like with people pleasing, because I'm a retired people pleaser, like we just say yes and overbook ourselves and overstress ourselves instead of just checking in on yourself if you can or you can actually do it before you actually say yes. And people pleasing tends to make you feel like you need to be nice for people to like you. That's a fat lie because you just lack boundaries and i feel like there's a book that i read that is really good for people pleasing and just like finding peace this book right here this book could teach you like guidelines on how to have boundaries how to have more healthier relationships and it honestly has so many gems i feel like you will learn from because it's not cute it's not healthy like heal sis best relationship advice date people that your love language is how they choose to love if your love language is acts of service that's how they show their love so it just makes everything easier like being in my last relationship i didn't really need to say much like how i like to be loved is how he likes to show love so it just made sense it just makes it easier because then it's just smooth sailing you know you teaching someone like how to do certain things because it's harder when it's like that how do you keep yourself motivated honestly i don't keep myself motivated i just keep myself disciplined like motivation is such a fleeting thing that some there are days where i don't want to do certain things aka now because i had to be up by 8 a.m and it's currently 1 a.m in the morning so yeah like there's certain things where it's like you need to do what you need to do you need to get that done now i can't wait till miss motivation comes around the corner and says okay now you're going to be motivated you're going to be ginger because they will never come so that's kind of how i feel about it how do you shoot your shorts oh welcome 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 you all to bgt university i teach you how to effectively shoot your shorts in person if you know you have the balls to do it welcome if you know you're chicken out to do it still be here and still listen to what i have to say you know when she's choosing shorts i don't even recommend because the quality of men no the quality of men we have nowadays don't go put yourself in trouble but if you see that guy that like, just like let me just let me just try and risk it and let's see what happens then go for it so one thing i like to do is like 
make sure you're calm your anxiety cannot be raising when you're going to talk to him because i feel like you're going to be so tense everything you're going to say is going to be so <sighs> so serious to you make sure you are ready for rejection just like how guys move to you and nine times out of ten like you don't give them faith a guy can do that to you so you have to be confident no matter the circumstances no matter what is going on no matter if he says no to me i'm still a bad bitch okay you have to feel yourself because you can't go and then he says no and then yeah, you're destroyed no you have to bounce back bounce back walk out cool Keep moving, keep pushing. Third of all, casual conversation. Do not make sexual advances if you're not about that life. Don't ask how I'm flirting and then you're not really about that and then you're not in you're not in trouble. Make it casual, soft, sweet. Let's do role play. I'm Shalewa, you're being Benga, I'm looking at you, Benga, me and you. Story time. I saw this guy and I thought he looked different and I was around my friends and I was just like, oh. I'm with this guy. You know, I just want to mess with his head a little bit. So what I did was I went up to him and I was like, oh hey, um, hey, he's he looked at me and was like, oh hey. Cause he couldn't see me where I was coming. I was like, oh hey, and I you know when you call me, you have to give me your soft smile, your tone. You know your tone is like okay. Hey. Um Hey, I saw you over there and I just came to tell you that you look really good. I loved your outfit. And yeah, um, anyways, I'm gonna go now. There's no way he's not gonna pick you because first of all, you didn't tell your name. You didn't tell him your name. So now he's thinking, obviously it looks like a bad period. Okay, so you're a bad going up to him, he's confused. You not tell him your name and then you guys start talking from there. Make sure the conversation is light, make sure you're not giving too much detail like let there be a little bit mystery in your conversation if he gives you both you give him bass if you want him to come for a motive you can be like oh yeah come for this party if he says why should i come you can throw in that like because i'm going to be there and from this conversation you already know i'm a vibe so why are you playing with me something like that you can do something like that something something to make you shake a little bit make him mm, make you think a little bit I'm talking to my man right now, so if it doesn't work, don't come and say, oh yeah, this is maybe go and go and do I didn't say, I didn't say she do that. I'm gonna suggest maybe you try this here, there. Someone asked me like, how do I stay confident? True confidence is trust in oneself. And how do I trust in myself? I make solid promises to myself that I keep and eventually those build into big promises and eventually i'm trusting myself so i'm trusting my own abilities my own looks my own qualities and i'm trusting that it's enough to make me become whoever i want to be i wasn't born with this at all like at my late teens i just started building that skill and eventually i'm here where it's like i'm just living my life doing what i need to do yeah i just trust in my abilities and trusting that anything i put my mind to all my dreams and aspirations they're coming from within because i have everything i need to succeed yes. someone asked me what my best friendship advice would be and i would say my best friendship advice would be present yourself as who you are authentically in every essence and you find people that match or vibe with you for who you are but if you present yourself as someone that can provide something or someone that is, you know, that can be used for something, you always be used because takers never have limits. So make sure you present yourself as who you are and as your person so you can eventually find people that match that energy and definitely vibe with you authentically. Um, someone said, I hate myself and I don't know how to love myself. Do you have any tips? I'm sad. I'm sorry that you hate yourself, but I just wanted to say maybe try and forgiving yourself. I feel like forgiving yourself makes you tolerate you because you cannot run away from you. Just forgiving yourself for putting yourself in a bad position, but that was how your mind could best survive in that state. So forgiving yourself at your survival mode and just forgiving yourself for making mistakes that you know better that you shouldn't have made or for putting yourself in positions that you shouldn't have put yourself or for being around people that you shouldn't have been or for letting people in that shouldn't have been let in you just need to forgive yourself for 
even not knowing how best to treat you from now on moving forward just try to regain your trust back in yourself and trying to like believe yourself and trust who you are again and center yourself in, as a person that can trust yourself and i feel like eventually you begin to start liking yourself and then once you start liking yourself then eventually that grows into love for oneself and i don't think that's like a destination type of thing even i go through days where i if i think about things i used to do in my past i just want to <laughs> like choke put myself in a choke like why would you won't tolerate that that why would you even allow that to happen i why didn't you know who you were but i can't blame myself for no for working in survival mode that was the best way i could survive at that moment and that's what i thought was the best thing for me but now i'm learning new things i'm learning better i have to forgive myself for not knowing because i'm not perfect so i neither are you as well so learning to just like accept that i made wrong i made mistakes and they are not they don't define me my thoughts don't define me my mistakes don't define me and i forgive myself for them and just move forward and live my life that's really what it is all right guys that is all the questions i got today i hope you had your glass of wine i hope you were entertained let me actually finish your drink all right guys that's the end of this video make sure to like share subscribe tell a friend tell a friend tell a friend about your baby today and if you guys like this girl talk and if you guys like me talking my make sure to work comment down below so i know that you guys like it and you guys want more so yeah comment down below let me know that i'm doing so let me know that i'm doing something right like i check out my other content stay tuned for everything i come with the content I come with the vibes i come with everything so make sure you are staying tuned for all the content subscribe to the channel if it's your first time or if this is your fifth time coming on my channel i am watching me but you're not subscribed okay talk to me what's the problem why can't you just subscribe you've been watching me for like what five videos now why can't you just subscribe join the gang what's wrong with you 20k like let's get me there i know bgt gang is lit so make sure to subscribe like share if you guys like this girl talk you know what to do and yeah stay tuned new episode of i your big age coming soon you know second episode coming this month september maybe at the end of the month so make sure you stay tuned for that uh other content coming out soon and yeah it's here over your toes and i'm gonna be signing out by saying go crazy go stupid go stupid go crazy and i'll see you i mean you back again it's a new bgt content i know you want me every day not only when you're lonely yeah you see you think you know me but you don't even know nothing about me yeah you see my thick thighs Lost when you look into my brown eyes You see my lips always commit you switch sides You never know the devil in a disguise So why don't you stand up, baby, yeah.